Hello, this is Keenan Watson with the DuPont Building Knowledge Center. Uh, in this video, I want to talk to you about weather resistant barriers and one of the main purposes of them. Uh, that's to hold out water. So high performance wraps uh, are tested to AAT CC 127, the hydro head machine. And what's that doing? It, it has a reservoir of water at the bottom and it's pushing up at a constant rate uh, to see when that water penetrates the wrap. To start the hydro head test, we take the sample of Tyvek and place it on the machine. We then clamp down, making sure we have a tight seal around the material. The test method is then selected on the control panel, which was the dynamic test method for this sample. By testing, we want to see our sample pass the code minimum of 55 centimeters per water column. As you can see, while the pressure is increasing, the sample begins to balloon, and at some point, drops of water will begin to show. We're looking for three drops of water, and once that third drop is visible, the test is completed. This specific sample exceeded the code minimum and also exceeded our published number of 250 centimeters per water column. This water holdout test demonstrates one way in which a WRB will perform when wind-driven rain occurs. This is important while the home is dried in and the WRB is left exposed before the final cladding is installed. Please follow our links to the other videos that relate to hydrohead tests, including Tyvek vs. perforated wraps and scratch Tyvek vs. scratch coated wraps.